Gentlemen, welcome to Revitalize with SP String Ensemble. I'm Leroy, and with me is my co host Natasha. We are from SP Compares and will be your MCs for this evening. You know, Nat, it's really nice to finally have a live concert after two years. Yes, and that's why this concert is series is called Revitalize to revitalize the music scene in SP. Our performers have worked very hard for this concert, and for most of them, this will be their first concert since being in the club. And for a short little reintroduction, SP String Ensemble, or SPSE for short, was established in 1999, focusing on four predominant classical string instruments, such as the violin, viola, cello, and double bass. That's right, and under the tutelage of Mr. Yang Shili and Mr. Wang Shi, SPSE brings to life music from a wide range of genres, from films, to classical, to chamber music. So let us put our hands together and welcome our conductor for tonight, Mr. Yang Shili. Thank you. 
was too South American tango for you, ladies and gentlemen. Don't you think that that was such a passionate piece, Leroy? You can really feel that South American spirit, you know, the passion that goes through the rhythm and the melodies that come through. So it set up a very, very colorful and festive start to the concert. And hopefully we can have our next piece introduced by you. Yes, our next piece is another passionate one that was composed by Pietro Mascani coming from the Italian opera Cavallaria Rusticana. This piece has been used in many films, so maybe you might find this one a little familiar. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, presenting to you Intermezzo Sinfonico. Talking about variety, that was a very, very soothing piece from Intermezzo Symphonico. And you know, I can really picture this scene and this piece being played in the Bridgerton Netflix series, no? Like with the ballroom scenes, those are really nice. Yeah, actually it could even fit in animation pieces too, you know? Imagine, no, everybody just imagine around you, uh, lush fields, the wonderful countryside, marshmallow clouds, can you see it? Can you see it? Alright, so the next piece is going out to all you anime fans out there. This is a piece you might recognize. It's from the movie Luputa, Castle in the Sky. And now this fantasy movie was released in 1987 by Studio Ghibli and composed by Joe Hisaishi. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting to you the main theme song, Carrying You.
Now that piece was really, really blissful, and I feel as though it can bring me to a some place filled with, you know, just pure bliss. Okay, now we still need to host the concert. Okay, so now our next piece was composed by Johann Sebastian Bach around the 1730s. Now this was written in the late Baroque era, which is known for opulence, grandeur, contrast, and sheer skill to inspire all. So you can expect a lot of different sounds and melodies that come through. And I definitely know that it showcases a lot of Vivaldi's influence of high spirit writing with a delicate counterpoint in the first movement which highlights the genius in Bach's composition when it comes to handling melodies. So if the entire piece is a story, you'll be listening to the two solo violins interweave into each other's melodies and take turns to tell parts of the different narrative and the rest of the ensemble will provide the background context. So, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for our SVSE soloists, Erica Lee and Ashley Chin. <laughs> right, and they'll be presenting Double Violin Concerto by the SP String Ensemble.
round of applause again to Eric Lee and Ashley Chin. It takes a lot of chemistry to pull off such an intricate piece between the soloist and your song. I say, I know I definitely will not be able to do that, that's why I'm not there. But, and you know, as you can see, it's very hard to ignore the elephant in the room, but you can see the ensemble is leaving and death, it is there for a really good reason. Yep, yeah, uh, the quartet will be taking this main stage next. And uh, as the name suggests, quartet, how many people do you think there is in the group? Well, uh, this is definitely not five, so four. So four. quartet basically means that it's four people that's performing instead of the whole ensemble. Yeah, uh, and at this point in time, I would just like to uh, invite uh, the AV crew to flash the program up on the screen again. Alright, so if you've just joined us, then you can also take out your phone and scan the QR code on the screen for our program booklet. I'm just going to leave that up there for like 30 seconds or so. So quickly scan the QR code for the program booklet and you can get up to speed. And uh, while they're setting up and scanning the QR code, what will the quartet be performing for us? Well, the quartet will be playing three different pieces for us. The first one will be Ein Klein Nacht Music by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. The second is Merry Go Round of Life from House Moving Castle. And the third is Carmen Sweet from Georges Bizet. Okay, so they're not going to stop any time in between, right? That's going to be a lot for us to look forward to. Definitely. And you know, something I've noticed of late, I've noticed that Merry Go Round of Life has its own take on TikTok with a quick little remix over there. So maybe classical music has its own take over there? Can you say that? Maybe, but what's better than listening to it live, right? So I'm pretty sure we'll have a better appreciation for it after they've played the songs for us. And I know that they'll definitely be able to sweep us right off our feet. So let's not wait anymore and let's put our hands together for our quartet.
very much well deserved. And our next piece will require the entire SP String Ensemble to come back to stage, so let's invite them back to their places. So, Lirai, what else does SPSC have in store for us right now? Well, the next one is from Vivaldi, 
and his famous The Four Seasons, which is a group of four violin concertos giving musical expressions to each season of the year. And this was written between 1718 to 1720. And the season that they'll be performing for us is one of his four concertos, Autumn. So it depicts a country dance at a harvest festival, so you can imagine that it's crisp, and carefree. So you can look forward to our violin soloists who will depict joy, dance and elation as her lines become more virtuosic. So could we invite back to their places our soloists, Miss Erica Lee and our conductor, Mr. Yang Shili. and presenting to you Vivaldi's Autumn, the Four Seasons.
you so much. You know, as I was discussing with Leroy over there on the couch, I don't think Vivaldi will be able to write this piece in Singapore because all he can write about is summer and monsoon. But that was a very lively piece, no? Yeah, sure. Okay, I think you'll enjoy the next piece though. The Moment Musical was composed by French Schubert and Moment Musical is also another interesting one because it was actually composed for a piano solo. You know, that's actually really cool because you mentioned piano solo. So how about we hear it in a form of an ensemble? Let's take it away, strings. of it, Moment Musical actually sounded really familiar. I felt like I've heard bits and pieces of it from this cartoon called Little Einstein when I was growing up. Yeah, I'm not surprised. In fact, many, many classical pieces have been used in films, games, and even nursery rhymes. Yeah, that's true. So how about this piece then? This piece is called Palladio, and it has been used in quite a few TV commercials, so maybe you might find it familiar? Yeah, it's a very strong piece, and Palladio is actually the most recently composed piece of the repertoire tonight. Uh, this was composed in 1995 by Carl Jenkins. So the inspiration behind this masterpiece is actually derived from an actual person, the 16th century Italian architect Andrea Palladio. And Carl Jenkins wanted to replicate his works by incorporating Renaissance, celebration of harmony, and order within the pieces. And speaking of harmony, let's put our hands together up for Palladio. Thank you. 
Well, that brings us to the end of the evening. No, wait. I thought that there was more. Okay, Leroy, how about you spell this out for me? E N C O R E. What does that spell? Encore. Y'all want an encore? Oh my god. That's okay, so if you guys want an encore, can you give them a round of applause, please? Again, can we invite Mr. Yang Chu Lee back onto the stage for an encore? And ladies and gentlemen, once again, presenting to you the SP String on Song. And that's how you end a concert with a band. Yes, but before we end, could we please invite Miss Ashley Chen, the president of SP on Song, sorry, SP String on Song, forward to present Mr. Yang Shirley with a token of appreciation. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the SP String Ensemble themselves. They worked very hard this evening. I think it's time for them to rest. Okay, so this concert will not be made possible without the continuous guidance of the instructors, Mr. Yang Shi Li, who is the conductor and instructor of the upper strings, and Mr. Wang Shi, who is the instructor for lower strings. And definitely, I feel that this is really heartwarming and you can only experience this live at physical concerts. In fact, we would also like to take this opportunity to thank the Department of Student Development for organizing this physical concert. Yep. Okay, I know I'm going to repeat this again, but a huge round of applause to SP String Ensemble. They've worked very hard tonight to make all of this possible. And uh, a huge thank you to the venue technicians with SP Stage Management who makes everyone here look and sound great. A shout out to SP Videography Club too. They are running around making sure that they capture all the mental moments for everyone. Because then that's us, SP Compares. Of course. 
<laughs> Alright. And other student helpers who made this event completely unforgettable. And of course, most importantly. Lastly, of course, you guys over here, our audience, thank you very much for being here. And your support really does mean a lot to all of us over here. Alright, so again, big round of applause for everyone in this room. I think tonight has been an amazing success. And uh, a little bit of a plug here for more information on all the clubs that have made today happen. Do make sure you drop by their Instagram pages for String on Song. It's at SP Strings, so you can go check them out. They've got a wonderful presence uh, for stage management. It's at SP underscore stage management. For Videography Club, it's at SP.VC. And for Compares, it's at SP Compares. Once again, I'm Leroy. And I'm Natasha. We're from SP Compares. We've been your MCs for tonight. Good night and goodbye. Good night, everyone.